Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore the type of Spring Boot applications. So basically, Spring Boot framework will create applications based on the dependencies that we add in a class path. For example, there are three kind of project the Spring framework will create. For example, look at here, these are the starter dependencies. Spring Boot starter, Spring Boot starter web dependencies, Spring Boot starter web plugs. So these three dependencies are very very important guys and Spring Boot Framework will create three kinds of projects based on these three dependencies. We can, we can create a Spring Boot application with Spring Boot Starter Dependency uh, to develop the utilities and the standalone applications or the desktop based applications. Okay, because Spring Boot Starter Dependency does not contain the embedded Tomcat server or any other web servers. So we can use this dependency to create a standalone application and Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency. So we can use this dependency to create a Spring MUC Web Application or Spring MUC you know, REST API applications and Spring Boot Starter Web Plugs. So this dependency we can use to create reactive applications. Okay, Spring Boot Web Reactive Applications. Let's jump into Spring Tools Suit ID and let's explore these three Spring Boot Starter Dependencies. First, we'll explore about Spring Boot Starter Dependency and then we'll move on to other dependencies. Go to Start Class. So this is the Start Class, right? Uh, and it contains some main method. So main method uh, internally call application dot run method. Okay, and uh, this run method internally call another run method. So there are different overloaded static run methods. And this run method basically create object of spring application class and it will call again run method. Okay, and this run method contains all the logic. Okay, so it will start the stopwatch to just, uh, you know, identify the time taken by our spring boot application. And then it will prefer the environment environment can be a production environment or development environment or UAT environment, QA environment etc. And then you will print the banner and then it will create the application contact. So this is important. So let's jump into this method and create and then go to default. So look at here. This is a very, very important guys switch case. So if web application type is servlet, then it will create the object of this class and if web application type is reactive then it will create object of this class and if web application type is none then it will create object of this class okay so by looking into these you know uh, these use cases i mean these three classes you can you can able to understand right which kind of application the spring boot framework will create if we add spring boot starter web dependency then this then this object will create this class object that is annotation config servlet web server application context if we add spring boot starter web plug dependency then this this class object will be created and if we add spring boot starter dependency then this class object will created so now we have added spring boot you know starter dependency so this code will create object of this class okay let's uh, debug let's add a breakpoint like here like this and let's debug so go ahead and open this start class right click and debug as spring boot application and click on switch and look at here and let's let's go ahead and let's click on step over button here say f6 okay and uh, it this method basically will calculate the web application type if you can go here so based on the class path okay based on the dependency which is present in a class path it will you know return the web application type for example so look at here class path utils so if this class this if this class is present in a class path then this method will return a reactive web application type if this class is present in a class path 
okay then we have type none if both the condition fail then web application type is servlet okay just go ahead and click on step over here and look at here web application type none because we have added spring boot starter dependency okay go ahead and click on next and then next okay and then a pet and then a pet and then it comes inside a run method so let's directly jump into create application context method okay and if you can see here we have application type none okay let's go ahead and let's let's jump into this logic so now we have web application type is none so it will return the object of this class okay yeah there we go so look at here this is not a servlet application or a reactive application in fact it is a application which comes under default category perfect all right so this demonstrates that this demonstrates that whenever we add a spring boot starter dependency in a class path then spring boot will create spring application which is which will come as, comes under default category now let's explore about spring boot starter web dependency let's add this dependency in a pom.xml and let's see how spring boot framework will create the spring boot application which will which will come under servlet category so servlet means uh, the spring boot application can be a web application or a rest api application okay because in spring web application we use a servlet and in spring rest application also we use a servlet for example dispatcher servlet right we use a dispatcher servlet uh, in spring muc web application as well as spring muc rest api application so let's add spring starter web dependency in a class path now go to pom.xml and here hyphen web okay just save the file now we are going to debug so we have already added a debug i mean breakpoints in a id so let me directly run as spring boot application okay click on switch and there we go so here it will create the object of spring application class and it will call the run method and based on the class path i mean based on the dependency present in a class path it will create it will return the web application type so in this case look at here we have added spring boot starter web dependency right now it will return a servlet as a category understood this is a very very important guys just try to understand the spring boot internals now it will come inside a run method and all the logic have written in this main method in this run method okay stopwatch starts and then environment prepare environment method will call and then print banner and then create application context and then it will go inside a default now the web application type is servlet now this instance will create this this class object will be created and return understood whenever we add a spring boot starter web dependency in a class path then spring boot application you know comes under servlet category okay perfect and spring starter web dependency internally provides apache tomcat you know as a embedded uh, default web server so if you can see here our spring boot application is running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 now we can use this spring boot application to develop web applications as well as rest api application i hope you understood how we can create spring web and spring rest api application by using spring boot starter web dependency okay great now let's explore spring boot starter web plugs dependency if you want to develop 
Spring Web Reactive Application, then we have to use Spring Boot Starter Web Plux dependency. So let me jump into Spring Tools with ID. Let me st stop the server and let me go to pom.xml and here I'm going to change the dependency. Now we have Spring Boot Starter Web. Let me change from Spring Boot Starter Web to Spring Boot Starter Web Plux. Save it. Now let's see whether our Spring Boot application comes under reactive category or not. Let me quickly debug. Right click, debug as Spring Boot app. Switch. Okay, I go to next and then here the web application type. Yeah, there we go. So based on the dependency present in a class path, it will return the web application type, right? Now, if you can see here, it is returning reactive as a web application type. Okay, got it. If you can just mouse around web application type, it says reactive. Let's see. Create application context and then it will, it will go inside this case. There we go. Alright, so application context will be created uh, for reactive application now. It means that this will create a Spring IOC container for reactive based application. Perfect. Okay, great. And if you can see in a console, Spring, you know, web uh, plux application is started. Alright, just try to understand how Spring Boot framework internally creates, uh, you know, Spring Boot applications and which starter dependencies you have to use to create different kind of Spring Boot applications. So very, very important. Try to, you know, grab the concept. Alright, I hope you understood you know how you can you know create a spring boot different types of spring boot applications using different types of spring boot starter dependencies okay great